Well, finally, the giant known as Amazon has started to make some noise in the cloud gaming space. And well, we were all wondering when this was going to happen. An interesting article in the New York Times appeared last week talking about a new code name for the cloud platform that Amazon is working on called Project Tempo. And well, I have a lot of thoughts on it, so let's get into it. Like always, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it and sub to the channel for more Stadia and cloud gaming coverage. But let's talk about what is the potential outlook for Amazon's new cloud service and what they might actually be trying to accomplish. And I have to say that I am pretty intrigued on a lot of fronts. Now, while there still hasn't been a lot of information outside of this new code name, Project Storm, but what we can touch on is the three new games coming out for Amazon and what it looks as though their plans are for those games in conjunction with this new cloud platform they're going to launch. Now, the article goes on to say that not only is Amazon working on Project Tempo and hoping to have it possibly launched this year, if not in 2021, but what they are doing is developing casual titles that the viewers can play alongside their favorite Twitch streamers in real time. Now, if this sounds familiar to you, it should, as this is the same type of goals that Google has been and is wanting to accomplish with Stadia and YouTube. These personalities and influencers and integration with these platforms really gets a lot of people engaged with not only the game, but the potential streamer they like to follow and the ability to play alongside with them and hundreds and thousands of other people by their side. It really makes for a more community building scenario on top of the loyal player base to that particular game. And as someone like myself who loves to engage with his community while streaming, I personally love this, but I'll have more thoughts on this later. But as of right now, there is two games planning to launch from the Amazon Gaming Studios with the New World, a massive multiplayer online game and Crucible, a team-based combat game that takes elements from League of Legends and Dota, but in a shooter perspective. The game has been in the works since 2014 and is planning to launch next month alongside the New World, which is also set to release in May as well. But what's interesting here is how Project Tempo hopes to leverage their new titles, specifically with the New World, and has plans to have massive multiplayer battles. Things that can only be done with a cloud service. On top of that, there has been a third game in the works led by someone that I am not a fan of by the name of John Smedley, the former president of Sony Online Entertainment, the man who ruined my favorite game of all time, Star Wars Galaxies. He is working on a franchise title with the Lord of the Rings IP and will be yet another massive multiplayer title. One that I suspect will take full advantage of the power of their cloud service. So in a full vacuum, we have Amazon already about to release a few games that down the line will probably feature updates to take advantage of something like Project Tempo and also have the new title alongside it, potentially one that will take full advantage from the start. And I have to say, I'm actually kind of impressed in a way. It seems to me that Project Tempo is taking a different route than Google at first glance. Now, we haven't heard anything about Project Tempo and other publishers and developers for different third-party games. But if the base of this cloud platform is launching with first-party titles, featuring the power of what your hardware can accomplish by being streamed on any device, then I think this is the best way to launch your cloud platform in today's gaming world. With so many people pushing back on cloud gaming due to the unknown of it, launching your service with games that fully utilize something people have never seen before is a great way to really introduce to them the power of what this tech is really capable of. Now, at the moment, we're really not 100% sure what Amazon plans to do. Is it really only going to focus on its own games? Or will it push itself as its own standalone platform like Stadia? That is the most interesting question right now, but I have to say this is the best way to start a new cloud platform like this, and it looks as though it's possibly looking to avoid the pitfall Stadia has had since its launch. 
in a way, watching from afar how Stadia has had a rough launch has been gold for Amazon on how to approach their own service. And starting off by using games that will really focus on the gameplay portions of what cloud gaming can accomplish is the smart thing to do in my opinion. But either way, I'm encouraged because I love how they want to integrate the communities as much as they can. With Twitch and Stadia, how it uses YouTube, as a content creator myself, I personally love it. This is the stuff that I've dreamed of and hope that either one of these platforms really figures it out as I could see myself changing my entire career. But not only that, the features and tools you can utilize with your communities and integrating those tools into these games, not just to interact with a content creator, but interact with each other has me really seeing the amazing potential of the future of where these cloud specific games can end up. Now imagine a game like Lord of the Rings where you can have massive battles of humans versus orc armies in the thousands. Now this is something individual hardware is still not even coming close to performing unless we look at something like cloud gaming. Either way, Project Tempo is looking to make some noise at some point. And I for one not only will cover it with excitement, but will welcome it because these platforms pushing each other to the limit is what's best for us consumers. And I think it would make not only Stadia better for it, but GeForce, PS Now, and xCloud. They'll all have to really consider how to plan their future. And while we can all say we're at the forefront of this gaming revolution. But all right, guys, let me know down in the comments your thoughts on Project Tempo. And if an Amazon cloud platform is something you want to try in the future. I'm curious as to what you all think. Please hit that like button, sub to the channel for more Stadia and cloud gaming coverage. And like always, I'll see you guys in the cloud.